and welcome to Hedgehog Hollow and welcome to today's video. Rather than a tutorial, I have a look at my marker wall for you. Many of you commented on our daily Facebook lives about this new background that you saw behind me earlier in the week. Now we created this last weekend, I've refined it just slightly, but I'm really happy with how it's set up. So I wanted to make a video to show you exactly what's there and how to make your own. We've lots of things to show you, how to store all different kinds of pens and mediums in here. And I also have all the links below the video for you, but we'll get to that later. So let's take a closer look. So on the top, I have lots of these Spectrum Noir trays. Now they originally came in this clear, and then you'll see later on they go into the black, which is the newer color. These store so many different types of pens. They all clip together. They either taper away from you, as you can see on this side here for mine, or you can stack them so that they're completely straight, depending on your space and how you like to work. So as I said, they're originally for the Spectrum Noirs. I do have a few of those at the top and a few more of the Aquas here. But on the whole, these are all of my Copic markers. I have my Spiker glitter markers at the top here. It also really nicely stores my Tonic Nouveau markers, the Tonic glitter markers, um, my Spectrum Noir glitter pens, a bit like the Wink of Stella. I have jelly pens in here, all sorts of fun rainbow pens, and my pretty Kirianas with that petal or flower design on the end there as well. Down here, we have the Zig Clean Color FB pens. Now these are slightly different to the normal Zig Clean Color pens, so keep an eye out for a video upcoming to show you the difference between all of these different Zig pens. I also have some Zig calligraphy pens here, and they all go really nicely together, and I have plenty of room to expand. You can buy them in packs of six, and of course you can expand up as high or as wide as you need to. Now, down here I have my chameleon pencils that I keep stored in its black case. I love how these look and how it shows me along the bottom what they are, so I decided to keep those in the case they came in. Down here I have my Zig original Zig Clean Colour Markers in the storage that Zig sell to go with them. Now these clip in really nice and tightly. You could take this to a crop with you, you could put it this way up in your crop bag. It also has this metal stand that stands down and keeps them at a nice tilt for you to work with. Uh, they're really strong and sturdy. And they have these steel pins in the back so they're never going to come apart. I mean this is a pretty weighty piece. I really do like it and I of course will link it up in the description for you. Now further down I have my Distress Markers, and this is the Distress Marker tin. I only have a few of them, but I keep them in there, and that's great when I want to grab them and use them. I have my Gansol, my Prismacolor Special Pencil Sharpener, my Colour Wheel is here, and my Watercolor Dropper. At the back here I have this little pot that is full of paper stumps. Maddie decorated it with some foam pieces for me, and all of my sanding and things are in there too. This thimble I absolutely love. I have a couple of these. I keep my bungle pencil, which I've had since I was at high school. I just love having him in the back there. It's full of metallic markers. My Nouveau calligraphy pen is in here. My deco art markers. Anything that is metallic tends to go in this thimble here. And finally at the back, I have my Deflecto X. So this is the piece that they sent me and I really do love it. It works so well at the back here. Here I have pencils, there's also a rotary cutter that I use for paper in there. Here I have my zippy pencil and some more fun biros, lots of just general writing implements in here so I know where to look. This one is full of Sharpies, lots of different white pens, Signo pens and things that I've tried in the past, and some Sharpie paint pens too. And at the back here I keep a couple of highlighters, a dry erase pen and my favourite fountain pen, just so that they're really easy to find as well. So now we can have a look at the wooden drawers. I have four sets of these wooden drawers that are underneath all of my different markers. Now you can stack these either on top of each other or next to each other. They come in an unfinished wood so you could paint them. I've just left them as they were. You may want to wax the fronts just in case you get some ink on them and it wouldn't stain. Or alternatively you could paint, alter, stamp, all sorts of different options. As I say, you can have them next to each other or you could go upwards if you wanted to. Each one has four drawers in it, and one stack of four is enough to keep an entire set of Prismacolor pencils in. This is my Prismacolor set. Now I have arranged these by brand. So this stack here is all full of my Prisma pencils, and at some point I will fill them with the Spectrum. And the drawers are all removable, and they have dividers in them too. 
This stack is full of Crayola products, so as I go down, they all have different Crayola products, and I've labelled all my drawers as well. So this one is metallic pencil, uh, metallic colours, this one's colour effects, this one is fine line markers. Now I do this because it helps me when I'm making a supply list, but you may just like it just to be able to tell exactly what product you're looking for. Maybe you've got something in mind and that would help you find it. This one down here is my mixed one. So in the top here, I keep my Marvi La Plume markers and you'll really see how versatile these drawers are. This one here are my Dina Wakely scribble sticks. In here, I keep my Prima watercolor pencils and I know I'm gonna be buying more tins so I've left this drawer empty to fill up. And I also have in the bottom here some different pens. You can fit pens in these too. I've got Pitt Lettering India inks, I have my Pitt Artist pens, Micron pens, brushables, and some Zig Calligraphy pens. I've also started this N1 for my Spectrum Noir products. I don't have many yet, I have ordered the new Spectrum Noir pencils, they haven't come yet. But I do have my metallic pencils that I started off, and again I've just popped a label in there as well. So you could organise these however you like, maybe you have a few Prisma pencils and a few pens and you'd like to organise them that way. Maybe you'd like to do it like I do and save it by brand. Whatever works for you, these are great. And you can see some pictures that we took on your screen at the moment. Feel free to pin these, take a screen print. They will all be on the blog for you as well. And of course, all your descriptions and supply lists will be underneath the video and on the blog. To access those descriptions, if you're on a mobile device, you want to click that arrow in the bottom right hand corner. And if you're on a desktop, you will want to click on the show me more, which is underneath the video title. In a second, some subscribe buttons will come up on your screen for the Hedgehog Hollow channel. Please do click that and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. It really does help us. Thanks so much for stopping by. I will see you again very soon for some more storage ideas. Happy stamping. Bye.